Alright, hey everybody, welcome to today's Fire Academy video. We're back at The Rock, and this time we're going to redo lesson number four, which was uh, the ladder mechanics. And we're going to actually go over things like climbing the ladder now, um, the whole new system we made to redo the complicated outrigger system and the putting the ladder up. So this is going to be a lot easier for new people, a lot easier for you guys who have been playing the game. And... Um, it's a lot smoother to do. So we'll we'll go ahead and uh, show you what we got here. Building number three is our taxpayer simulator. We've got a tiller ladder here, ready to uh, show how this one works. Each ladder is a little different, so you're gonna have to learn whichever truck you're gonna be working on, uh, or whichever truck you're gonna be using for whenever you play around with the game. So uh, we'll spawn a member of this company with our new roll selection menu and since we're here at a fire we'll go ahead and put our gear on alright so for this truck the outriggers are controlled on the turntable as itself as well as the ladder so as you can see here we've got uh, new 3d tool tips which allow the player to get a better idea of things they can interact with and um, the keys they need to click or press whenever they're in that area. So when you walk over to either side of this tiller, all you got to do is press F, as it says, and we're up on the uh, on the turntable. So our next goal, we want to get our stick up. We're gonna we'll put it up to the uh, to that little uh, setback right there. All right, so we'll look how at our uh, tool tips. See how let's put our outriggers down by pressing the period key. So it shows you an active status of your outriggers. You should always make sure that they're down because things can go seriously wrong if they're not. So we'll go ahead and put the ladder up. All right, so we've got our ladder set up. We're going to go ahead and uh, show you the new feature of climbing the ladders that we added, some we worked on uh, the last week, and uh, we'll go ahead and show you, but keep in mind that these animations are all to be redone in the future. Our main priority is getting things to work right and then making it look good, so we want to get all the mechanics of the, the game looking or working correctly with uh, placeholders. And then we're going to go back with professional animators and redo um, a lot of the things, such as this animation that needs to be redone. So we're at the top of the ladder. We can go ahead and climb down. Like I said, animations, when we climb off that ladder, they'll be put um, in place. We can always climb back down the ladder, which I'll go ahead and show you now. Just press C. Now I get on the ladder. I apologize for the camera. I'm moving around really weird, but... This is a work in progress. But so far, we feel like we're in front of any other emergency game to date. So that's that's something that is really exciting to me. A lot of games say they're going to do stuff, but you don't see it happening. So as we get to the base of the ladder, it puts us back into the turntable, where we can go ahead and bring the ladder back down. What I'm going to actually do is just reposition it to a more uh, logical location or strategic location, which would be on this setback. But what I'm going to do now is go grab another truck. I'll show you what it looks like to climb at this angle. I'll go grab uh, the rear mount truck and then we'll bring in the tower ladder. Each truck has its own different mechanics so um, just stay watching the video so you can get an idea of how they work. So we're on the roof here we could bring out the the roof saw, do some ventilation. It's all stuff we can't wait to integrate. So I'll go ahead and uh, head over to 66 truck or the rear mount uh, chauffeur training school truck Once again, we're going to a fire, so let's wear our gear. So 
So we're going in as a second through truck. To a fire the taxpayer, so we gotta be ready. When we pull up to get an idea of where we're gonna place the stick. It's all really important stuff. Alright, so we've just pulled up to the fire. Uh, my computer ran out of space, so I had to delete some files, but we're back. So, first things first, let's go ahead and get out of the truck. We'll get our helmet on, safety first. Get a overlook of the situation currently. Looks like we've got fire in the hardware store. Possible extension. Um, we don't know yet, we're getting a, an idea right now. So. For the outriggers on this truck, you'll go to the back area where I said in the last video. Except this time you don't have to press any keys. All you gotta do is be in this area. As long as you're pressing the period key, you can put the outriggers outwards. And if you want to put it down, you hold the comma key. And it'll put the outriggers uh, down vertically. So we can climb up either one of these ladders as it says. With our new tooltips. Makes it obvious. We'll climb up there. We've got our same controls. I'm thinking we should put the ladder up to the uh, to the roof right here, just in case we have extension. You never know. All right, so our ladder is in place, and same thing. We'll press C to climb up. As we reach the top of the ladder, we hop off. We can always climb back down, like I said. But to save some time in this video, I'm going to go straight to the tower ladder. Um, but I basically have shown you the basics of the, the tiller drawn aerial and the rear mount ladder. How to put them up, how to climb up, outriggers and everything. Now comes the tower ladder, which is my favorite. It's a little different. They each have their perks and their... Uh, cons so we're going to a fire let's get our gear on no helmet got our bureau training rig here probably should have came in the other way but this works Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some cool new things that we've done on the tower ladder. Alright, so we've got our tower ladder in position. So in the FDNY, tower ladders can be used for several things. They can be used to access rooftops, uh, do rescues on fire escapes, like anything like that. At a window, you can even use it to put water on a fire through a window from the roof from even ground level. So we've we've reflected that in this game so we'll start by putting our outriggers down remember the outrigger panel is in this compartment in real life if I can get it to open I don't think I can um, but I do want to model a little outrigger thing in there it'll be pretty cool so we'll go ahead and put the outriggers down it'll let us know when they're locked in in place uh, we can either climb up to this turntable and control the tower ladder, which I would do, but I want to show you guys the bucket. So if a player's in the bucket, they have overall control of the tower ladder. But if no one's in the bucket, somebody can hop on that turntable and bring it down or whatever need be. Reposition it. So I'll press F to get in the bucket. So one cool thing that you can do now with this tower ladder is bring it... Uh, lower than uh, the angle limit which usually was just the, the uh, parallel to the ladder itself but now if we wanted we could attach a water source to this to the bucket we could bring the bucket down here 
and put water on the fire without even uh, if we have a heavy amount of fire where we have other lines protecting exposures and we don't have a line to put on this uh, on this body of fire we can bring a tower ladder in give it some water and put water on the fire this way so that's going to be a pretty cool uh, thing that you guys will be able to do and then we can easily go to the roof we can we'd be able to hover up here put water down on the fire from up here if we needed or if whatever reason we needed to access the roof we place it down here we press F and we're off and we're free to walk around free to climb down any other ladder for means of egress and we can hop right back in the bucket head back down to the ground level So those are all really uh, cool little mechanics that are going to really come into play when the firefighting aspect of the game is being developed. So uh, the last few, it's been about a month and a half, almost two months since our last update. And we really uh, need to show you guys what we've been working on. This is one of those things. So this is what we worked on this week. If you watch the last video, then you'll see the amount of progress we made on just this ladder mechanic stuff so update 0 0.5 we're aiming we're aiming I cannot make any promises for this weekend um, probably our typical Sunday release dates if not we're trying to get it out as soon as we can I'm currently in New York and I have been for almost two weeks but I bought all my equipment to work don't worry I'm here for some FDNY courses I'm taking I have my exam on September 12th, so that's about, I don't know, maybe 16 days. Um, so I've been studying my ass off. I have to get a perfect score. Nothing less. Um, so that's why I'm here. I'm not on vacation or anything. I'm working my ass off, and I'm studying my ass off. Um, so this update is going to really help out with people who have had issues crashing it's gonna uh, brings in new loading screens that actually give you a progress bar we had to redesign the whole game basically uh, in the way that it handles loading to get this to work so that's what's been taking us so long uh, the subway system is going to be in there the map is complete not complete complete but all the buildings are there no more gray squares no more empty spaces um, the whole third person character controller is a lot smoother as you can see new uh, skin shaders that look really good new uh, visual effects um, better traffic uh, a new whole new menu and multiplayer lobby system loading screens uh, input manager where you can you can set your keys, you can look at keys if you're confused you can uh, use controllers, steering wheels all that good stuff so we hope you guys uh, are really excited as we are for this this update's going to completely uh, change the way you play this game so um, we're really excited and thank you for watching this video and we're going to hopefully see you in the next fire academy video so leave a comment a like or whatever share your thoughts whatever you think could be improved or anything like that we work off of your feedback and your um, bug reports and stuff so this game wouldn't be possible without you guys alright thanks again for watching guys and have a great weekend